Welcome everyone to Fundamentals of Anatomy and Physiology Online. I'll be your instructor through the computer this semester. And my name is Jillian Carr. And we're going to look at the syllabus, navigate around Blackboard to give you uh, a sense of what's expected this semester and where to find all the resources you'll need to be successful in this class. So I'd like to start by logging into the Blackboard site, which I've done here. And I'm going to click on our class. Our section number is 67411. So we're going to open up our course. And then the key information you need to get started with the class is in the announcements I make are here. Hopefully you've read these and you've done steps one through five. Then we're going to click on the course syllabus and we'll go over some things of what to expect. The textbook you need for this class is Essentials of Human Anatomy and Physiology. It's down in the bookstore. It has an access code to getting on the Mastering a &P website. You need to do that right away because there's a homework assignment this week, two homework assignments on that website. And you also need the interactive CD-ROM. That's not as important, but that Mastering a &P online access code is very important. If you want to go ahead and purchase just the ebook and the, with the online access code, that's an option for you if you want to save a little money. But you definitely need to have that access code and the textbook to be successful in the course. So we're going to go um, look at some things here. We have the course objectives. That has a list of all the material that we're going to be covering in the semester. It's a good thing to use as a study guide, for example. So if you look at our first unit, Introduction to Chemistry of Life, this is everything you need to know for the lecture exam on Introduction to Chemistry of Life. You can see the next topic is the cell. This is everything you would need to know for the cell. So I would recommend printing this off, putting this in your binder, and having this as a study guide prior to each exam, a lecture exam, so you know what to expect on those exams. All right, going back um, to our blackboard site. That's the course objectives. Then the course syllabus, if you click on that, I've already done that, that has basic information about our class. So this is also something you want to print off, have it in your binder so you can look at it on a regular basis. So again, the textbook that's required is the Essentials of Human Anatomy with the access code. And also there's an unbound supplement, just a stack of papers wrapped in plastic down in the bookstore. It's about $9. And that has the lab packet in there as well as the study skills read. So you need to purchase that packet right away to get going on the lab and the lecture or the lab and the study skills readings. Just to talk, the rest just talks about the course and the competencies, some of the expectations, code of conduct. If you have a disability, you can um, get support services over in Disability Services. The phone number is listed here. Exams, there's going to be several 25 question 100 point lecture exams and then several 20 question 40 point lab exams. Um, we're having a difficult time finding proctors, so um, the thought is, is you're going to be doing these exams on the Mastering a &P website or on Blackboard. Um, information will be coming about that as I finish up this week and decide how we're going to proceed on that. So for right now, um, just start working through the homework um, and get the study skills module started so you're progressing through the class. <coughs> okay, so Blackboard quizzes. There's four 25-point online Blackboard quizzes covering these learning modules. So we're going to go out of this for a minute and go back to Blackboard. And if you go to Study Skills Learning Modules here and click on that, you'll see there's different learning modules based on the study skills. So there's four different modules for you to move through. <coughs> the first one is Time Management Test Taking. So if I click on that, these are all the activities you need to complete to finish this module. So here you're going to read in that supplement that you're going to purchase in the bookstore for $9. Read pages 1 through 10 in that packet. And then visit this workshop here. It's the LSU online workshop. You have to sign in as a guest and watch the time management PowerPoint. You don't have to do any quizzes or worksheets. You just look at the PowerPoint. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to take me to this LSU. I'm going to sign in as a guest. And it says, make sure cookies are enabled and mine are disabled. So it tells me here how to enable cookies. It says to select internet options from the tools menu, click on the privacy tab, 
click default and click OK or slide the bar down to settings. So to do that, you need to go to your internet options. So I go out here, move my bar down, go to tools, that's right here. I'm going to go tools, go to, oops, right there. situation and it might work better but in my screen record setup right now it's not allowing me to do that so try to do this on your own if you have trouble call me and I can walk you through it but anyway so um, once I continue into this it will allow me to look at the PowerPoints here's time management here it's the online workshop and then click on time management and because I didn't enable cookies it won't take me to the PowerPoint but if you follow those online directions for enabling cookies here, follow these four steps, it'll take you to that PowerPoint. So you can just print off that PowerPoint and have it for easy access when you take your Blackboard Study Skills exam. So I'm going to get out of this, go back to where we were at in Blackboard. Back to my test time management test taking. And then, so that's the workshop. And the next thing I'm going to do is uh, participate in the discussion board. So I click on this. It'll take me to the discussion board on time management. And there's some questions for you to respond to. And you'll get points for participating in the discussion board. So make sure you answer those four questions. And use your readings as a basis for your responses. So right now, um, I can see nobody has done anything in there yet. Be sure to use these discussion boards to get your points for the study skills portion of the class. All right, so we go back, and then uh, once we've completed that, then you're ready to take the study skills quiz. So that'll be available according to the syllabus. Right now it's not available, but there's 25 questions that are going to come from this online study skills workshop, and some of those questions will come from pages 1 through 10 in your readings. So it's actually, you know, not difficult material if you visit these two places to get the information. So the study skills quiz is going to be based off of these two resources. And then lastly, your assignment is to make a calendar template for the months we're going to be in class. So you're going to download a monthly template for January, February, March, April, and May and put all the due dates from our syllabus on that monthly calendar. Don't do anything like read chapter 5 or don't put any topics on the monthly calendar, just due dates like lecture exam one, lab exam two, um, flashcards are due, just simple stuff like that. We don't want you to fill up that calendar with too many unnecessary information because basically you're going to use these calendars to make sure you're on top of the class and you're meeting the deadlines. So don't email me those once you have those downloaded and you've typed in the information. Do not handwrite anything on the calendar because you have to email it to me. So it has to be a typewritten Word document. So that's the learning skills modules, study skills modules. And like I say, there are four of them that you're going to complete throughout the semester. And <coughs> they'll pop up according to the date on the calendar. And they're available here for you. Okay, so that is the study skills. Then if we go back to our syllabus, that's what that is. Mastering a and lab and lecture homework. This is a really important part of our class. You have to have the textbook with the online access code or you won't be successful in the class. So going back to our course, we're going to go to the content folders. That's where you'll find the PowerPoint notes for lecture and lab. And here's the link for Mastering a and So if I click on Mastering a and website, it takes us to our course. You're going to sign in as a student, but you need to register first, and it'll give you the information to do that when you register. The course ID is Fundies Car, K-A-R-R. -R. 
So I'm going to sign in. see if we look at our calendar on the 16th we have some homework that's due so um, um, it is going to expire at midnight this is lab one homework so if I click on that it's going to take me to that homework assignment and here's all the questions it'll look a little different on your view but it'll take you to the questions and these are right out of your textbook you get an open book navigate through the questions it's all multiple choice you get a grade at the end very straightforward so be sure that you're taking the time to do that and getting your homework done on a regular basis. If I go over here <coughs> and click on assignments, I can see what all the assignments are that are out there and available. So there's different assignments. Let's see. So right now, these are the assignments that are available to you. Chapter 1, 2, and 3 homework assignments. Chapter 1 and 2 are out there right now. So you can get through. I would recommend starting with this one because it's an introduction to our class and how to do um, how to work through the website but anyway work through these four homework assignments open book like I say um, easy points but don't forget to do them so that's the mastering a and website there's also a study area you can go in here for extra practice and click on that and you can choose any chapter and from our from our textbooks you go up here pick the chapter we're in you can do some reading quizzes quizzes do some art labeling exercises take a chapter practice test all great stuff because these are things that I'll also be using when I have you take the, the lecture test lecture and lab exams I'll be using resources from this book so be sure to use as, get as much practice online as you can so that's the mastering a and website Go back to our course documents content folders here. So here's the content folders. This tells you how to print off the PowerPoint lecture notes. And then the lab folder, if you click on that, here's all the information for lab. Our first lab is Intro to Anatomy, so I'm going to click on that folder. And I'm going to have a video here showing you all the information you need to know for lab. There's a PowerPoint you want to print off before you watch the video, and there's lab notes you want to have alongside while you're watching the video. That way there'll be less to write down because you'll have all the information that I'll be talking about in the video will be in these lab notes. So these are ve two very important documents with every lab that you want to print off and have at your fingertips while you're watching the video for each lab. Always print off the PowerPoint and the lab notes before watching the video. Going back to content folders, go down to Intro to Anatomy and Chemistry Basics. This is, these are all lecture topics. Everything below the lab folder is everything for lecture. So if I click on this, here's my PowerPoint for the lecture part of class. Here is going to be the video for that lecture. And then here's two worksheets to help you review your chemistry. Here's the worksheet and then here's the answers to that worksheet. So that again is going to help you for the lecture exam in case there's some questions regarding chemistry, which there definitely will be. So print off the PowerPoint, watch the video. Make sure you're writing your notes on the PowerPoint as you watch the video. So every time you come to class, or come to your computer for this class, you're going to visit content folders and print off a PowerPoint either from the lab folder or from the lecture topic according to the syllabus. And the discussions there that we have these participation assignments I'll reference those as we go along here but sometimes there's worksheets that I have that go along with the lectures they're all found here you want to print those off and have those handy as we go through the class as well but I'll talk about those as they come up so if you want to get a hold of me um, always email that's the best way because I'm in class a lot and it's hard for me to answer my phone and it takes time. I can't do that in class, but I can sometimes, if I have downtime in class, while well, students are taking a test, I can email back in class, but I can't talk on the phone in class. So it's much better to email me than to call. 
All right, so we talked about the study skills quizzes. We talked about the mastering A&P lab and lecture homework. That's all online activities. Very straightforward, using your book. Participation worksheets, I said, we'll use in alongside with lecture, and I'll pull those in as we talk about it in lecture. It's expected that you'll have a three-ring binder right from the beginning of the class. So you want to purchase this three-ring binder from Walmart. The white ones are the cheap ones. It's a one-inch binder. And a hole punch, a cheap hole punch. And if you want to, it's really important to print everything off, three-hole punch it, put it in your binder. That way you have the resources in front of you for studying for lecture and lab exams. And I'm going to check that because I'm going to ask you in, um, in the fourth and fifth week of, the, of this class to stop in and meet with you to see how things are going in the class to make sure that you're not missing anything. Because being an online class, sometimes people get lost and they're not quite sure you know, what to expect it and want to make sure you're getting the most out of the class. So you set up a meeting with me. Um, Mondays are the best time or Fridays. So start thinking about that in week four and five, what time you'd like to come meet with me um, for our one-on-one -on -one discussion. And then I'll check your notebook at that time and make sure you've been printing off the PowerPoints and the participation worksheets and you're organized. So there's the syllabus should be in there and the <coughs> course objectives and the PowerPoints as well as the learning plan, which I'll talk about in a little bit. So on Blackboard also are some practice lab exams. So when you're done watching a video and you've done the lab homework, what you're going to do is you're going to go on Blackboard again, go into our content folder. This is just for the lab portion. So if you've finished up watching the lab video on Intro to Anatomy, at the end, these are just some little tutorials you can run through at home that cover some of the content from the lab. When you're done, you're going to take this practice exam for Lab 1, Intro to Anatomy. This is open note, open book, just to get you thinking about the structures and what you would be tested on for the lab exam. These are worth points, <coughs> so they have to be done, and it'll help you prepare for the lab exam. <coughs> so be sure to take your time and, and run through those before you take the actual lab exam. comprehensive lecture exam at the end of the semester. You do have to come to campus for that final exam. We'll be on a computer and we'll all meet together and I'll check your notebook one last time and make sure you have everything in there for your full points of the notebook check and then we'll be done with the class. There's also a study skills final exam that you'll take but that you can take at home. Um, it just basically covers everything um, in the study skills the four study skills exams you take in that study skills modules. Um, there's a total of 25 questions on the four study skills exams for a total of 100. I'll pull 50 from that 100 and that'll be on the final exam. So it's basically just a repeat of some of the questions you've already seen on those study skills exams. If you miss an assignment after the due date, um, I don't accept late assignments, so I won't accept them for partial credit. So if you miss an assignment, it's just missed. So be sure you're looking at that course calendar and getting everything done on time. Many of you in this class are taking it because you did not pass general A&P after your first attempt. So you have to get a B or better this semester to get back into general A&P. So it's really important to just stay on top of the class and don't lose easy points because you didn't get online and finish up a, an easy homework assignment on a mastering A&P or a, an easy study skills quiz. So here's a breakdown of all the points, things that you'll be doing here. Only thing you don't have to worry about, there's only two students in the group that are um, bridges to healthcare students. They have to check in with a tutor and that just means by phone or email. And Bob Durst is the is the tutor that you need to be in contact with. And I'll write his email here. You can email him first just to introduce yourself and tell him you're checking in. So his email is D U E R S T R at Western TC.edu. So it's D-U-E-R-S-T-R at westerntc.edu. Be sure to write that down because this will not be saved once I get out of this program. 
at the end of the semester, I'm going to ask you to write a little journal response in the journal section on Blackboard about how the class went for you. Like I said, we have the study skills final, the comprehensive final, and all that homework on mastering A and P. So be sure that you're keeping up with that. So here's the course schedule. So if we look at our first week of class here, we can see that the lab folder that you should have visited and watched the video on is in is the intro to anatomy. The lab video and lecture videos are not up yet. They will be up later today. So intro to anatomy are the lecture and lab topics. So there's two different folders. There's a lecture folder on intro to anatomy and there's a lab folder on intro to anatomy. So you want to read the syllabus, watch the video, and participate in the discussion board where you're introducing yourself. And that's due by Friday at noon. Then next week, we're going to be talking about the cell. And by the end of the week, these are always on Fridays, okay? Exams are always due by Friday. I'll just write that up here. Exams due Friday by noon. Or you know what, we'll give you more time. Friday by 5 p.m., how about that? Okay, so all exams are due Friday by 5 p.m. I'll make sure that that happens. And I set it up in this way that we can do that. Like I say, I think we're gonna have yeah, trouble finding proctors for everybody, so these will probably be online, which will take at home. <coughs> so we have uh, lecture and lab exams every other week, which you'll be doing. So every week you're doing lecture and lab exams. Lecture exams are worth 100 points. You don't want to forget to do a lecture exam. Lab practicals are worth 40 points. Big points here. On an online class, you can't afford to miss any important exams. Very, very, very important that you can stay on track of the class and you plan your time accordingly. So here's the topics. The, then you know what folders to visit before taking the test. And in parentheses, after each test, it tells you what the topics are for that test. So lecture exam one is going to be an, on intro to anatomy. Lab practical one will be intro and the cell. Lecture exam two will be cell, tissues, and skin. So you can see what the different, this is tissues, skin, and skeletal. So I always put the topics that the lab exams are on. You also have some flashcards you're going to do throughout the semester. We make flashcards of some of the terms. I'll talk about that when we get to the lab on those topics, so we'll talk more about that. So the class moves along pretty quickly. You want to make sure you're staying on top of things and visiting this course calendar and making that time management calendar and that study skills module time management that like make this a little easier to read for you in know, a monthly calendar format. And just make sure that if you have any questions that you just let me know and, and ask questions and, and, and stay on top of things. So I look forward to watching you progress through the class and being here as a resource for you. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know and email me at carj at westerntc.edu. That's all I have for today.